Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my Photoshop actions to create repeating patterns. This action set is designed to use with two objects, or you can do uh, one object with two colors. These Photoshop actions are available to purchase in my Etsy shop, and I will leave a link in the description below. After you've purchased your Photoshop actions, navigate to your file and you are looking for the file that has a .atn. This stands for the actions for Photoshop here. First off, we are going to load the actions into Photoshop. With Photoshop open, we are going to create a new file. For this, we are going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. These actions are designed to work with this canvas size. If you use a different canvas size, they will not work properly. So uh, just make a note that they are designed to work with this size of canvas. And then for these particular set of actions, you cannot use it with artboards. So make sure artboards is not selected. And then under resolution, I'm just going to have it set to 300 pixels per inch. My color mode is RGB color. And then my background content set to transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. From here, we need to load our actions. So make sure you have your actions panel open. If you do not, you can find it under Windows, selecting actions here. In the right corner here, just click on this icon and then you are going to select load actions. From here, navigate to your file folder and again, select the uh, file that is .atn and then we will just click to open it. And then you will see your actions in your actions panel here and then you can click down on the folder icon here and you will see your different actions so looking at the actions here we have uh, the different namings we have a dot style bl stands for block br stands for brick and then we also have hd which stands for half drop so let's go ahead and test some of these actions here so I'm just going to hit D on the keyboard to get my default colors here and then using the ellipse shape tool that's U on the keyboard or you can right click to access your ellipse tool here. Go ahead and draw out a circle. So just holding shift and then I'm just going to draw out a circle here. Uh, with this uh, shape here, I'm going to right click and convert it to a smart object. When you're repeating elements, it's always a good idea to work with smart objects. That way, if you need to uh, make any adjustments to your original object, it will be reflected in your repeats as well. And then uh, because this is a two object uh, pattern pack, I'm going to uh, go ahead and duplicate this. Um, but instead of just duplicating it, I'm going to right click and I'm going to do new smart object via copy. It will create a duplicate of it, but it will be its own smart object. So I'm going to click in to this circle here and I'm just going to change the color. Let's just make it red here. And then I'm going to save this command or control S and then we will close out of the smart object command or control W and we have our two different layers. So when I was creating these actions in order to get it to do what I wanted it to do, I had to uh, design it in a way that you uh, can't have any other uh, layers in your document. So you can't have any other visible or hidden layers and you can't use it with artboard. So just make a note of that, that in order for these actions to work the way they're supposed to, you can only have your two objects in your document. So let's go ahead and select these two objects and then we will run our first action. So we'll hit our dot two objects and then under here you can hit the play button and then automatically it will create a repeating dot style pattern for us. In the layers panel, what you'll notice is you have your two original objects and they are hidden. And then we have a group that contains all of the repeating elements here. And then in the patterns panel, if you do not see your patterns panel, go ahead and go to windows and select patterns. Uh, you'll see it created three different patterns here. So let's go ahead and test these in a new document. We'll go to file new. Uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Um, I'm going to have artboard selected, resolution 300 pixels per inch, and everything is the same there. And then just click on create. 
I'm going to go ahead and add a pattern adjustment layer here and then just clicking on OK here, navigating to my patterns panel. I'm going to select the pattern that has both my red and my black here. And then uh, let's go ahead and add a background color. So I'm going to add a solid color adjustment layer. I'm just going to make it white for the moment. So F, 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 and then just clicking on OK. We'll drag that color fill layer below. And we have our background color here. Just renaming my artboard. I'm just going to name it one pattern. And then uh, zooming out, Command or Control minus. I'm going to create a second artboard. So I'm going to access the artboard tool, which is Shift V, and then clicking it until you get the artboard tool here. You can also right click and select the artboard tool, which is next to the move tool here. Uh, when you have your artboard tool selected, you'll see these plus icons. I want to go ahead and make a duplicate of this artboard here. So I'm going to hold down Option and click for Mac users or Alt click for PC. And then I'm just going to drag it to the side. And then I'm just going to rename this layer to Pattern. And then I'm going to uh, just drag it below uh, my first one there. So uh, let's get back to our move tool. So just shift V and then we can zoom in here a little bit. So on this uh, second artboard here, I'm going to go ahead and add another solid color adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and pick just an entirely different color here. We'll go with uh, maybe this purple here. And then I'm going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to go I'm going to click between the two layers, option click for Mac, alt click for PC to create that clipping mask there. And then selecting both of these layers, I'm just going to duplicate it, command or control J, and we have a repeat of those layers. So uh, back to my uh, patterns panel here, I'm going to, I'm going to select the pattern that is the black circles. And then for this one, I'm going to select the pattern that is red circles. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change out this color so we can get a, a different color here. And so, so what this action does, it creates a, a re automatic repeat of uh, your swatch, but it also gives you these additional repeats. So then when you're um, in a document like this, you can change the colors here as well for your pattern. So let's jump back into our original document here. And, and so with this group, if you want to try out a different action, just highlight the group here, hit the delete button, and then just select group and contents. And then you can just make visible your original objects to uh, try it out again. So we'll select both layers again here. And let's go ahead and try out a, another one. So let's try out the second action dot style two objects diagonal ascending. So then we'll go ahead and hit play. And then again, it automatically repeats our uh, pattern here. And then again, in the patterns panel, we see the three different uh, save patterns here. So we'll test that out again in our second document here. Um, in this top layer, we can select our uh, double uh, colors here. And then in this second artboard here, we can select our two different patterns. And so we have, uh, again, the option to where you can change out the color if you want, try a different uh, color combination here um, to easily change out the pattern there. Uh, jumping back in our original, let's test out uh, one more pattern here. So we'll go ahead and delete the group here, group and contents. We can turn on our original. Creating a new layer here. Let's try a different object. So I'm going to right click here, looking at my custom shape tool, um, hitting the drop down here. I'm going to uh, navigate to a different object. This time I'm going to pick one that is not symmetrical. So navigating to uh, my legacy shapes and more, I'm just going to use um, under nature here. I'm going to select uh, this uh, object here and then just holding shift and just dragging out to create my object. I'm going to go ahead and delete my circles here because I can't have any other objects. And then I uh, will just hit V to move it into um, our document here. 
And then I'm just going to convert this to a smart object and then right click new smart object via copy. Let's just click in here and choose a new color and then select saving this command or control S command or control W. And then we have our two objects here and then let's go ahead and try uh, one of our brick style actions here. I'm going to use uh, one of these that have rotation on it. So I'm going to do the brick two objects rotation row. So we'll click on that one there and then just push play. And then we'll see a brick style repeat. Jumping back into our other document here, bringing up my patterns panel here. I've got my three new actions to find here. So we'll select the uh, first one here to get our repeating pattern. Zooming in, as you can see, it has created um, repeats, but it also has uh, flipped it uh, both vertically and horizontally to create that rotation effect. And then we'll test out this other one here selecting uh, one of the options and then the other option and then again we can change out our colors here if we want to let's select a say a pink and you can get a, a different color palette um, here in your document jumping back into our document here We'll go ahead and delete this group, group and contents, turning on our layers here, selecting them here. You can use your actions in this view, but you also can use it in button mode. So I'm going to click on the icon here and select button mode. And then you'll see uh, these actions here. Let's go ahead and test out a block style. So I'm going to uh, just select one of these uh, buttons and then it will automatically repeat it there. And then we can again, test it out in our document here. Selecting the uh, double version here, or you can select each one individually to get our pattern here. And in this case, we used a block style that had a repeat uh, via the column. I hope you enjoy using these actions in Photoshop to create uh, repeating patterns. Uh, be sure to check out my Etsy shop where I offer uh, additional action pack sets that you can check out. In the description below, I will leave a link to where you can purchase this action pack. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.